<laughs> it's a snowball. Hey YouTube, it's Katrina. Welcome to day 253 of the Orbit, and it is Psychology Wednesday. Putting that aside for a second, today I had a snow day. I didn't have to go to class from 4.45 to 9, and that is awesome. And I spent the day eating chocolate, reading, and drinking tea. Pretty awesome day. So I thought that I would talk about something that I find interesting, and while there is a lot of things that go into this, it's just like a, I just wanted to give a little cool excerpt about it. First, I will talk about how there are four lobes in the brain, meaning major areas that have in the brain where certain things occur. There's the frontal lobe, the temporal lobe, the occipital lobe, and the parietal lobe or parietal lobe, people pronounce that all different sorts of ways. In the frontal lobe you have cognition, and motor stuff going on, and same thing with the parietal lobe which is towards the back of your head, frontal lobe, parietal lobe. Occipital lobe, which has to do mainly with sight, is actually all the way in the back of your head, which is kind of counterintuitive because your eyes are up here. And your temporal lobes are behind your ears and it has to do with, you know, audio and all sorts of stuff. It gets more complicated than that. I'm going to be talking about a specific area in the brain called the posterior parietal cortex, or the PPC. Now the PPC provides visual information, somatosensory information to areas in the frontal lobe which deals a lot with motor, motor skills, so it's important for motor sequencing. And if you have lesions in the PPC, then you could have possibly two things wrong. The first thing that you could have wrong is called apraxia, and that's basically the inability to produce a motor act, even though there might be nothing wrong with everything that you need to sense something to do an action. The second disorder is called anosognosia or sensory neglect. Basically, you neglect part of your senses and don't even realize it. Isn't that kind of freaky? If you have that, then you might not even realize that you have something wrong with you. For example, you might not be able to move your leg and you would completely just be like, no, of course I can move my legs. For example, keeping in mind that in your brain, everything on your left side of the body is connected to the right side, everything on the right side is connected to the left side, as in, when I move my left hand, that means my right brain, you know, right hemisphere is what's doing that. So say that there's a problem in the PPC of your right hemisphere. That means possibly, let's say for example, that I can't move my left hand, okay? And a doctor asks me to move my left hand. I can't move my left hand. And I don't even, I don't even say I can't move my left hand. I completely think that I can. And I even, maybe even try to demonstrate, thinking that I am demonstrating, and I'm not. Isn't that kind of weird? Say I was asked to draw the numbers on a clock, I would draw all of the numbers on the right side, completely ignoring the left side. I could show you a picture. It would look like that. Right there. It would look like that. And that's what a flower would look like if I was asked to draw a flower. So that's something that I always find is amazing, the anosognosia or sensory neglect because I just can't imagine, like, say, not being able to move a part of my body and not recognizing that I can't move that part of my body, or drawing something or writing something and it being completely messed up and I'm just like, no, it's completely fine. But in consideration that everything that we are experiencing is processed by our brains, of course it makes sense if my perception of the world is done through my brain and there's a problem with my brain but it's always amazed me so really fast thing for psychology wednesday if you have any ideas for a topic please leave it below i know i have topics that people suggested to me in the past and i have them with me and i will continue to 
Keep in mind your suggestions. Please leave them below. Thanks, guys. I love you guys. And I hope that you have a great night. Bye.